ready? I'm ready. Hey, hey, you ready? They taste really good. We're gonna eat them tonight. Catch and cook, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what's up, what's up, what's up? Back in the old Foul Friday man cave. Today, this whole weekend, the next three, four days, whatever it's gonna be here, we're gonna be doing something completely different. We've been doing a lot of Foul Fridays, we've been doing a lot of how-to videos, we've been doing a lot of boring stuff right here. I love doing this, but today is the day. I'm gonna get on the road, we're gonna go to, we are headed to Nebraska, this launch capital of the world. We are headed to Flair's house. So. I gotta go tell my beautiful wife goodbye. Uh, unfortunately, the kids are in bed. I'm not gonna be able to tell them bye bye. I'll have to uh, have to call them in a little bit. But all you dads out there, I'm sure you know how hard it is leaving your family for days on end. This is really gonna be my first time doing this, leaving leaving the family like this. Uh, damn YouTube. But but you know it's exciting. Things are really picking up. Uh, we got the website. It's it's almost done. We're going to be re releasing it to you in the next literally couple videos, so be looking out for that. But I'm going to get everything loaded. going to go give my beautiful wife a kiss on the cheek, and I'm going to get in the truck. I'll see you there. Whew. So, yeah, like I said, uh, we're in the truck now. You know, leaving for, uh, that's the first trip I've left the kids and wife and the house to, you know, for more than a night or, or something like that. Uh, it's hard, but uh, I want to thank you, Beth, for everything you do, for for your patience and how awesome you are, and the understanding of my weird passion to shoot freaking birds. Oh, but we are gonna get on the road. We're gonna get this show on the freaking road. I'm gonna get on the highway. Gonna get me some caffeine. And I'm going to check in with you guys, pick up the camera here in a little bit. I don't know where the heck I'm going to be. Somewhere between here and freaking Omaha. So, I will check in with you guys here in just a bit. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I hope you can see me. I hope uh, it's not too dark in here. But we are somewhere around the Kansas-Nebraska line. And uh, I've had a lot of requests from you guys wanting me to do a basically like a personal video type of deal stating you know how I got into duck and goose hunting and kind of kind of the history behind it uh, I've been doing it for 10 12 well however many years so a lot of you have been really interested in uh, just kind of hearing my past of why I'm 30 why I'm still in it why I'm in it this much why do we have so many decoys and how so real quick we're gonna run through that I figured while driving and I got not a dang thing else to do it would be a good idea. I've been quail and pheasant hunting all my life. I did it when I was a young, young boy with my uh, stepdad. So, uh, you know, in elementary school, I was carrying around a single shot 410, slaying, absolutely just slaying the quail and dove. Not really. Then came middle school, and uh, a lot of you have met Wade. Me and Wade are best friends, been hunting together our whole lives. We got into waterfowl together. So uh, th then came middle school and um, uh, we started pheasant, no, we started dove hunting together in about eighth grade. And then freshman year, sophomore year, uh, hold on, we got a copper. Oh, poor trucker. But, uh, you know, freshman, sophomore year came and our buddy Heath, one of my good pals, uh, offered to take us duck hunting on the river and needless to say the river was way different back then than it is now there was just a ton of ducks and we absolutely had a blast so needless to say after that first duck hunt me and wade were actually absolutely hooked well he came up with the idea of hey man we can't afford all these dang decoys uh, let's team up and buy some. So that's what we did. We started teaming up and uh, collecting decoys. We have six of us that are absolutely loyal to our hunting clan and uh, we all pitch in money every year and buy something new for the decoy spread or blinds or uh, white paint suits. Everybody's always chipping in doing something. That's kind of the reason why we have six people going in together on all these decoys. So I know a lot of you guys are always asking, holy hell, how, how many decoys do you have? And how the hell do you have so many without being sponsored, right? Well, we all pitch in our money 
and we all you know come to a solid agreement and there's a lot of trust involved a lot of money and a lot of trust so uh, I've always encouraged you guys to team up with some of your friends that you can really trust when it comes to money and uh, business because decoys cost a lot of money and it's business when you're when you're spending that much money so uh, clan up guys find you some loyal dudes and start collecting your spread and you know in a couple years you'll have the biggest spread and you, I swear man it, it is amazing what you accumulate over just a handful of years while we're talking about this I might as well throw in there how the hell I got into YouTube and waterfowl hunting on YouTube so last year I have a co-worker named Mark he's been in one or two of my videos especially the bass fishing ones he's a bass fisherman like Andrew and uh, he was a big fan of flares and uh, I had been filming my hunts here and there with a GoPro and uh, he was like hey man this guy Flair he lives in Nebraska and he's looking for a place to come hunt uh, which would have been last season you need to hit him up and tell him to come down and uh, he was like and you also need to start a YouTube channel start a YouTube channel and he just bugged me about starting a YouTube channel I took about a month and I started watching Flair and I started you know understanding uh, the funny side of the Googans and getting to know them and I was like man these guys are just like me and I can do this too I know that I have uh, good enough hunts to do to do this I know I have the knowledge man this really hasn't been done on YouTube like I want to do it a little backstory before I get into it any farther me and my wife uh, we do photography so we do a lot of weddings and family and, and graduation photography and stuff and uh, that is not me that is the Jake break on the Peterbilt next to me me and my wife I was like you know what I know how to edit photos videos cannot be that much harder and I've always been so intrigued by by videography and video editing I used to skateboard a lot so any of you that know skateboarding know that there's a lot of video videography and a skill that go into uh, high-end skateboard videos if you, if you guys know what I'm talking about so I was always intrigued about videography in general so with that being said I, uh, I was like you know what forget it I'm going to uh, buy me an editing system, I'm going to buy me a new computer, I'm going to buy me a camera, and I'm going to try this thing. And I emailed Flair, you know, no no Fs given, was like, hey dude, this is what I do, come on down and uh, for a weekend and slay some birds with me. And needless to say, he replied automatically, and I was shocked. So, needless to say, that all happened, and uh, I started up the YouTube channel. Uh, Flair came down, gave me some great pointers, some great tips, and I'll always be grateful for Flair teaching me what he has and what he what he does teach me. Thank you, boy. Th thank you, boy. Thank you. So yeah, here we are. Uh, I don't know. It's been what seven, eight months or something since you know that the channel has been up, and we have put on four thousand, almost four thousand subscribers in eight months or so. So. Uh, the growth is so awesome. Uh, you know, I appreciate every one of you guys. I, I'm always, I'm always replying to your comments. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Is you guys go out of your time to drop comments, and I promise you all the time that I'll go out of my way to reply because it's only fair. And and I get so many good ideas, so many video, good video ideas from you guys. I I love what I do. I, I love where this thing is headed. And without you guys it would not be happening. I want to again thank you guys, each and every one of you guys for always watching, for always commenting, for always dropping that thumbs up. You know I appreciate it. I'm coming into a town real quick so I'm going to put down the camera and I'll probably pick it up when we arrive at Ol... Ol... Uh, what, what, what's a good nickname for Flair right now? Ye Dink Slayer McGee. How about that? When we, when we arrive to old Dink Slayer McGee's house. From highway driving to uh, shearing limbs. Holy cow! It's the most work I've ever seen you do. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> so, hold on. We got a semi blazing past us. Sorry. Hold on. So, guys, finally made it here to Omaha, and uh, here with old Dink Slayer McGee, and. Uh, we are cutting down all types of trees, limbs, to blind up the duck boat. So, 
we're gonna get after it and uh, I'll pick up the camera here in just a bit. Look at this. This is crazy, guys. I have never, never, never been on a river this freaking big, let alone to build a blind on a sandbar and shoot teal off of. Guys, I'm used to going and shooting at, you know, shooting birds out of fields, you know, bottoms, marshes. These guys are nuts, man. Guys, check this freaking blind out we just built. Huge, man. All kinds of room up in here. Jeez. This is beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Freaking beautiful out here. So guys, we are doing a spending the night on a sandbar island challenge. <laughs> Gonna find some iguanas to catch and cook. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, wait, what's that, a grenade? This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We got airboats over yonder. Look at the airboat. Airboat getting down. So he buys and kicks us out to kick us out. Right there. Yo, yo, yo. So what's up, guys? I am back here at Flair's Casa. Getting attacked by all his fishing rods, obviously. He's got too many of these damn things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the travel vlog today. Uh, I went over, you know, how I got into duck hunting, and then, you know, how I got into YouTube. I know you guys have been asking that question a bunch. You know, you've, I, you guys have been wanting me to cover that. So uh, I figured I'd do that for you on the drive here. So uh, chilling out on the old 10 pounder here. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do a bunch of till scouting in the morning. So uh, be looking out for a till scouting video as well as be looking out for some huge updates on uh, the Ducks Waterfowl Company coming up this weekend. I wanna thank you guys for watching and uh, come on back. If you have not subscribed, you better do it because it is heating up quickly. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.